Well, good day, everybody. This is Chris, and what I'd like to do right now is I'd like to go ahead and uh, do a uh, quick dosage calculations exercise, and this will be for the um, advanced emergency medical technician class I'm teaching. And this is uh, some supplemental material to kind of help you out if you're uh, struggling a little bit uh, on dosage calculations. So, what I'd like to do is just kind of give you a common example that you may run into in um, in the clinical environment. So. Uh, let's see if I can do this. I'm not particularly good at drawing on this particular program, uh, but we'll see how it works. So I want you to imagine that this is a vial here, and we'll see how good of a vial I draw. Okay, so here I have a vial, and I'll draw. There's some liquid in the vial here. All right, and there's the liquid, and in this vial, I have morphine. So this is a vial of morphine sulfate, and I'll just put MS there. We know that's morphine sulfate. We wouldn't actually chart it as such. We'd chart morphine um, sulfate, um, but I think everybody knows uh, that this is going to be morphine here. So inside of this vial here, I have one milliliter of liquid. And within that milliliter, I have a total of 10 milligrams of morphine. So you can almost look at it, if you wanted to, is, is maybe there are 10 um, particles of, of morphine, if you will. That's not you know, really the case, but let's say that each little dot that I put here is a milligram. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? So I've got 10 milligrams of morphine dissolved inside of this uh, vial here. And um, within this vial, there is a total, I'm going to draw a error here, a total of 10, of 10 milligrams of morphine dissolved in one milliliter. Okay, so that's what, when you uh, are asked to, to solve questions and it says that there are let's say uh, two milligrams per ml, okay? You see something like that in the, the test problem. Well, that, that's literally what, what we're talking about here is that you, you, you can even draw a picture if it helps you out. Um, we're literally looking at a vial or an ampule or what have you, some sort of container uh, that contains a certain number of milligrams or micrograms or grams, what have you, a certain amount of drug dissolved in a certain amount of fluid. In this case, with morphine, I've got 10 milligrams in one milliliter of fluid. And what I want to do is I want to be able to administer, um, I'm going to administer 2 milligrams, okay, to my patient. That's the order. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I need to administer. So what I need to do is I need to be able to pull out 2 milligrams from this 10 milligrams. Okay, I put my syringe in, and I need to pull out 2 milligrams from this vial. And the question is, how many milliliters of this 1 milliliter do I need to pull out? You know, so that's the big question. How many How many milliliters do I need to pull out? And this is where that little dimensional analysis, uh, oops, little dimension, dimensional analysis problem comes in handy. And as I said, there are a lot of people who can just kind of look at that and intuitively figure it out. No, exactly how many milliliters. Um, some people not so much. So this video is really aimed um, for you guys that. Um, do struggle a little more. So if you remember, on the left-hand side of my equation, and maybe what I'll do is just draw the sides. On the left-hand side, I go, what do I know? What do I know for sure about this problem? And what do I want to know? What do I want to know over here? I know, what do I want to know? What do I know for sure? Well, I know for sure that there are 10 milligrams in one milliliter. I've got 10 milligrams of morphine in one milliliter of solution. Okay, so I'm gonna put 10, and I would definitely write 
the units milligrams in one ml okay 10 milligrams in one milligram know that for a fact and I'll put a little equals here what do I want to know well um, I want to be able to administer two milligrams and remember what I said in class if you put milligrams grams micrograms whatever you put a mass on top you need to have a mass on top on the other side of the equation okay so milligrams on top milliliters on bottom okay uh, so I want to give two milligrams but I don't know how many milliliters to give so we're gonna make what I don't know X so now what I do to solve this problem is I simply cross multiply I multiply the numerator here with the denominator here and the denominator here with the numerator here so I'll draw my little arrows and feel free to do that when you actually have to do the math so this is 10 times x and 1 times 2 so 10 multiplied by x is just 10 x equals we'll drop the equal sign down equals 1 times 2 which is just 2 milligrams okay 10x equals 2 milligrams now I need to get the x all by itself so if you look at this side here what do I have to do if 10 multiplied by x equals 2 well how about I just divide this side by 10 and 10 divided by 10 is, is 1 they can cancel out and then I have this x here the x just falls out all by itself x equal sign comes down equals Remember, what I do to this side, I also have to do to this side. So if I divide this side by 10, I also have to divide this side by 10. Okay? So x equals 2 divided by 10. So let's go 2, oops. So 10 goes into 2. Okay? 2 divided by 10, 2 divided by 10. Well, does 10 go into 2? No, 10 does not go into 2. So what I need to do is I need to add a point up on the top here, 0 point. That point allows me to add a 0 to that 2. And now I can make that 20. And then 10 goes into 20 how many times? Well, 10 uh, once, twice is 20. So 0 0.2 is the answer. So x equals 0 0.2 milliliters okay and this is the my final answer if you will I've arrived at the answer and what this says is if I pull out 0 0.2 of that one milliliter so instead of the whole so the whole milliliter is 10 milligrams but 0 0.2 milliliters of that will give me my dose of two milligrams. Okay, guys, I hope you found this helpful, and um, I may do some more um, if if people uh, request that. Um, as always, uh, thanks for hanging.